U.S. regulators say Boeing 737 MAX jets will not be cleared for use before the end of this year. They've been grounded around the world since March following two deadly crashes. The Federal Aviation Administration says there are a number of milestones still to be completed before they can return to the skies. Talking of the skies, air travel is responsible for around 2.5% of global CO2 emissions. And yet, despite the climate crisis, more and more people are travelling by plane. Passenger numbers have risen steeply over the last few years, particularly in Asia. The rise in air travel is good news for the leading aircraft manufacturers. Airbus has plenty of orders to fill. In the next two decades, European air travel is expected to double. Many large airports are being built across Asia, including Beijing's Daxing Airport. Once completed, it will boast four runways. Last year, the Asia-Pacific region had the largest share of international air traffic, with almost 34%, followed by Europe with 26% and North America with just under 23%. Africa lagged far behind with just 2%. But the sector is likely to grow rapidly in some African countries. This year, Uganda relaunched its state carrier Uganda Airlines after it was grounded for 17 years. Other countries like Rwanda have high hopes for their national carriers. But most of them are mired in heavy debt. Airfares are too high for many consumers and the route networks are limited and complicated. Last year, nearly 30% of seats on African flights were empty.